morning, I want to speak about you are precious, be thankful to God. What do I say? I'm say personal, say I'm precious. I'm precious. And because of that, I need to be thankful. Say it after me. I'm precious to God. I'm precious to God. And because of that, I need to be thankful. Now, I want to give you the reason why you are precious to the Lord. Number one. The Bible, you know, the way that you are precious is indescribable. It's, it's difficult for me to be able to describe it. Look at the book of Psalm 139, verse 14a. Look at what, is, what the, the psalmist said about himself. He said, I am, he says, I will praise thee, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Can you say to yourself, I will praise the Lord? I will praise the Lord. For I am fearfully I am and wonderfully made. Now, how many of you know that you are fearfully and wonderfully made? Raise your hand. Yes. The Bible says we are fearfully and wonderfully made by the Lord. That made you to be very precious. Praise the name of the Lord. Why are you precious? Genesis chapter 1 verse 27. It says, so God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. Okay? You are created in the image or in the likeness of God. Do you know there are animals outside there? Am I right? There is this uh, this um, microphone here. God did not make you to be a microphone. Yes, God did not make you to be a speaker. God did not make you to be dogs that we that dog that we love. God did not make you to be goats. But he made you in his own image and in his likeness. I don't care as many people that have spoken something negative about you, that is not your portion. I said, that's not your portion. Amen. Your portion is that you are fearfully and wonderfully made by the Lord. And you are made in His image and His likeness. Because of that, He deserves your praise. Amen. Don't you know that? And why are you, why are you, um, why should you be thankful? Number two, it's because by the reason of the death and resurrection of Christ Jesus, you have been, you have been blessed and you have not been cursed. Amen. Can you say, I'm blessed? I'm blessed. I'm, blessed. I'm, not, I'm not cursed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Yeah, because he has redeemed you from every cause. That's the reason why Jesus Christ shed his blood for you. Look at the book of Genesis chapter 1 verse 28. The Bible says, And God blessed them. And God said unto them, Be fruitful. And multiply. And replenish the earth. And subdue it. And have dominion over the feet of the sea. And over the fowl of the air. And over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. You see that? God says, when the Lord, when he created you in his own image, what came out of his mouth is blessing. So you are blessed. Amen. I said you are blessed. Amen. I am blessed as well. Amen. Our children are blessed. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Not only that, Psalm 8, verse 3 to 6 says, When I consider the heavens, the work of thy hand, the moon and the star, which thou art ordained, what is man that thou art mindful of him? Look at the psalmist. He considered the heavens. He considered the moon. He considered the star. He realized that you are more precious than the moon. You are more precious than the star. You are more precious than everything that God has created. And then he was asking, who is man that God is mindful of him? Tell your neighbor, God is mindful of you. God is mindful of you. Yes. He said, who is, who is this? He said, and the son of man. He said, he said, he said, he said what is man? That thou art mindful of him, and the son of man, that thou visited him. That he had to you know, from the school of ministry, he told us that if God did not visit you every morning, you are dead. For as many of you that you are able to, to wake up and you are here this morning, it's just the God that has visited you. Amen. Give him all the praise for that. Amen. Give him all the glory for that. Amen. And not only that, the Bible says he has crowned you with what? With glory. He has crowned you with honor. Praise the name of the Lord. So God has made you to have dominion over the work of his hand. And so he, 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 he has put everything under your feet. Do you know that? Amen. That's the kind of, that's how God, that's how precious you are to God. He, he puts you in charge of all that he has created. Praise the name of the Lord. 
And why, why, why is it that, 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 that you are precious? And why do you need to be thankful? Number three. You know, when, when, you, are, when you want to consider the worth of a good, let me ask you, what, 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 what will make you to say something is precious? It has value. value. Thank you. And what do you use to determine the value? The quality. The quality. What do you use to determine the quality? Preciousness. Price. What do you use to determine the preciousness? The price. The price. The price. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. The price. Material. Now, look here. I told you, I, I want to preach about myself this morning. Okay? And, and it, it, it's not right. I told you I came to America here with how much? Less than $200. Okay? And I could not afford to buy to purchase any vehicle. It took a man, a member of our parish, look, he, he looked at me and said, ah, this, this guy, he has the grace of God because I, I you know, as soon as I entered the church, I became blessing to everybody. So there are some of you, you are God. God, God has given you grace and you are sitting out there, you are not doing nothing. As soon as I got here, despite the fact that I did not have a single penny, no job, I was, I was available to serve in the house of God. And the man looked at me, the man looked and said, the, the grace of God is upon your life, sir. He said, I have a friend that sells car. I want to talk to him, he will give you a car, and I will tell him that you will pay him back. And the man was my shorty. You know, the Bible says, do not be a shorty for a friend. That's what the Bible says. But the man was ready to risk his, 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 his reputation. He doesn't know me much. But he knew that this one man had the grace of God. I wasn't pastoring. I was just a, a member of the church. <laughs> and, I was, and I was serving there. And immediately after I came, the man gave me that, that vehicle. That same vehicle is still the outside there. I've donated it to the church. Okay? Then because that, that vehicle is going to be our security vehicle. Very, very, very soon. Uh, if I, I, I told one of our, our brothers to take it to the guy that I, I used to use that is separate to fix the vehicle. The man looked at this thing. Uh, the amount I'm going to use to pay like this is what I want. The rest is more. <laughs> he said the amount. Yes, and I said how much? He said, he said it's going to cost seventeen hundred dollars. Uh, and it's thirty ninety five to retire for a family. <laughs> and I cannot buy it for seventeen hundred dollars. Yeah. So I quickly said, to, I told him, Can you please? We will go and wash it. <laughs> I will go to Jerry to be managing it like that. Uh, yeah, because it's, 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 because you understand. No, don't, don't forget, I'm talking of the prices and value now. Okay? From there, I rode that vehicle for many years. The vehicle did not disappoint me. And then when this store was about to start, uh, just, just the, the, um, a few months, in about one or two months, we decided to buy a uh, Toyota Vesa new one, 2014. This church started in 2014, and we bought to that inside uh, because at that time it was 2013. So it has came out in 2013, so we bought one. That was our first new vehicle that we bought. Now the way I took care of the, of the venture was different from the way I took care of the, of, of the 1995 family. <laughs> Why? Because of the, the price the difference was too much. Because I bought that one for $35,000. Okay? And the, and the Toyota family was 3000 with 3000 See the difference? <laughs> Don't laugh now. <laughs> so, and, and, and then God will bless my daddy Lola. She started driving. And then I wasn't home. She took the, the key to the That was what I did to my dad. She did it, didn't do it to me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I would steal an ass car and, and, I, and I would drive it out for, to go to party and all that. She did the same thing to me. I wasn't home. She took God, got the key to the vessel, drove, drove it around. And by the time she came back, she already bounced it to the vessel or something. <laughs> And when, when I saw it, ah, and I was going to go up to this day, it was that big. What can I do? Nothing. So I, I have option to fix the vehicle. So I decided, I said, I, said, I wasn't going to fix it because I remember I was talking to the pastor. That vehicle 2014 is old enough. Go and change it. Go and get a new one. And so I took it to Nigeria and I sold it. Asked me for how much? 9.5 million. Yes. That was the amount I sold. I sold, I sold that vehicle for. And I just sold it. So, I was still looking for a new vehicle. Okay, when, when, when I started looking for a new vehicle, it, it, new vehicles were not cheap. Are you, are you listening to me? They are not cheap. So the, the, the little one that I saw that, that is, also, is double than the one that for the best, the price. And the way I'm going to take care of the one outside is different from the one I'm taking care of the best. 
Why? Because of the value. Yeah. So what, what is the damning that is what? The price. Okay? The price. But you know, as precious as you are, look at what the Bible says here. In the book of um, uh, First Peter chapter 1, verse 18. I, I, I'm coming home now. First Peter 1, 18 to 19. Say, for as much as you know that you were not redeemed with corruptible things, such as silver, gold, from your, it says so much, silver, gold, from your vain conversation received by tradition from your father. But by what? The precious blood of Jesus, as of the Lamb, without blemish and without spot. Because you are so valuable, no money can buy you. The money can buy the Mercedes Benz, money can buy Escalade, money can buy the big house, but your life is so valuable that nothing is worth in buying your life. Nothing is worth in, 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 in giving you salvation, giving and uh, redeeming your life from destruction, from, 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 the, from, from the wrath to come. Nothing except the blood of the Lamb. That's the reason why you need to be thankful. Amen. You see how valuable you are? Even when you are here, that you might not even have a, a, a single cent in your pocket, you are valuable. Amen. You are more than millions in dollars. Amen. No amount of billions in dollars can buy your soul. Amen. No, but the blood of the Lord. God gave you his best. Amen. The best that no money can buy. Are you not supposed to be thankful? Because of that, you have eternal life. Because of that, if, 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 if you are broke, you can ask him. The Bible says, if through his poverty, what did he do? Yeah, he, 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 there was an exchange between you and me. An exchange between God and, and you, between me and God. He removed my poverty. He, 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 he gave me what? His riches. Praise the name of the Lord. That happened because of the precious blood of the Lamb. When you are sick, you can call, on, call upon him. Please heal me. Don't say by the strife, we will heal. Mm. It's not a lie. When you are talking about heaven, you know that the Bible says, if we are just looking at this world alone, we are like men most miserable. You know that even if you die today, there's a place that you are going. That is not a lie. You are, that you are not going to hell. You will go there and reign and reign and reign. You will live forever and ever and ever and ever. Why don't you just be thankful to him? That your life is precious. So many of you are here to give God all the praise. And let, let me conclude on this note. Psalm 100, verses 3 to 4. Complimented my, my message this morning. Psalm 100, verses 3 to 4. It says, Know ye that the Lord, He is good. It is He that has made us, not we ourselves. We are His people. How many of you know that you are the people of God? And the sheep of His pasture. To enter into His gate with thanksgiving, into His call with praise, be thankful unto Him. And bless his name. So how many of you are ready to, to, to give him praise? Why don't you just rise up on your on your feet? You see, I've I've just been able to paint to you how precious that you are. That no amount of resources can buy your soul. No amount of resources can purchase can purchase you now. But the precious blood of the land. I want you to say, Father. Your voice is too low. Say, Father. I'm grateful. For that which you have done for me. Go ahead and begin to thank the Lord because your life is precious. God gave you his best. Your life is so precious to him. He has redeemed you from destruction. He has redeemed you from sin, from iniquity, from unrighteousness. He has redeemed from every outward danger. He has redeemed your life from destruction. He has redeemed your life from poverty. He has redeemed your life from every form of evil. He has redeemed your life from hell. Give him praise. Give him glory. Give him honor. Give him all the adoration. I want you to be thankful to him. Give him glory and honor and exalt him. Magnify his name. Our Father, we thank you. Our Father, we glorify your name. Our Father, there is no like you. I thank you because this morning, Lord, we thank you because you are so mindful of me. You are mindful of me, oh God Almighty. You are, you are, you are, I'm so precious in your sight. Who are we that you are mindful of us? You are crowned up with your loving kindness and your tender mercy. You are crowned up with your glory with your honor. We thank you for the blood of the Lamb, for allowing your son, Jesus Christ, to die for me and for you and for me. I give you glory, I give you honor. Blessed, blessed be your name, O Lord, forever. In Jesus' wonderful name, we have given thanks. I want all heads, all, all heads bowed, all heads closed. 
I just been able to paint to you how precious that your life is before the Lord this morning. Maybe you are here, you know, that you are yet to give your life to Jesus. Maybe you are here, you know, that the way you are living your life, you know that he has bought you with a price. But you have not fully surrendered to him. And this morning, you want to take advantage of the death and resurrection of Christ Jesus. You want to give your life a friend. Why don't you just wave your hand? Or you want to dedicate your life? And you have an opportunity to do that this morning. Why don't you just, do, do, do we have anybody like that? Let, please check the extension for me as well. Maybe if there's anybody there waving up their hand, or probably you want to dedicate your life, why don't you just go and dedicate your life to him right now? You tell him, Lord, I thank you for, the, for that which you have done for me. And because of that, I have come to dedicate my life unto you. I have come to receive you as my Lord and personal Savior in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, everlasting Father. Jesus, wonderful name, we are praying. Our Father, we thank you. We want to appreciate you for that which you have done for us. We are thanking you for the precious blood of the Lamb that is so valuable. And because you love us so much, you have decided to pay for us. You have decided to ransom us from destruction. You have ransomed us from sin and iniquity and unrighteousness and from the judgment that is to come. Father, this morning we have come to say thank you. We have come to say thank you. And as we come before you, Lord, with thanksgiving our heart, we have to Lord, you will accept us. Amen. You will accept our offering. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I'm also praying that everyone as well that have decided to stretch forth your hand towards your daughter this morning, I pray that, Lord, you will bless them. Amen. Let them not lack anything good. Amen. And as many of us also that will propose in their heart to God, that might be able to, to support your work, your project, Jesus, that we call Jesus, we pray about the building of your house. I pray that, Lord, you will build your life. Amen. You will build your family. Amen. They will never lack anything Amen. good. As they stretch for their hand to God to build your, your, your house, so God, I pray that you will build your destiny. Amen. As the Lord God Almighty, as many of them that will attach that, that seed, oh God, to a particular miracle or the other. Lord, I pray that, Lord, you will prove yourself in your life. Amen. Make them know that you are the mighty God. Amen. And we lift up this project before you, that Lord, only you that you are the one that can do it for us. That Lord, you will open your tray. Amen. You will release over the abundant provision Amen. that we will need to build for you. Amen. That your name may not be glorified. Amen. And we also pray that Lord God Almighty, you will help us to raise up over faithful contractor Amen. that will do this work appropriately. That this, the work will start and be completed Amen. to the glory and honor of your name. Amen. Jesus' wonderful name we pray. Amen. Amen.